welcome to God's Word for us that come. Ghana's online Christian station. Be blessed as you listen to messages on the site. shout I cannot hear your shout at all let it be louder now hallelujah now that we found Christ what are we going to do we are going to grow in the spirit so we are going to do what we are going to grow in this. We are going to pray. We are going to fast. We are going to preach. We are going to win souls. We are going to serve God. Clap your hands for Jesus. Unfortunately, today we don't have a lot of time. But I'm believing God that uh, we'll go deeper next week. But. Luke 1 8, he says that the child grew. You can sit down now. Yes, the child. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching on growing in the spirit. Amen. Growing where? In the spirit. Last week, I took my time and I made the case clear that there is a man inside you. Are you with me? Yes. There's somebody living inside you. Yes. And that what happens to the man outside does not necessarily translate to the man inside. That you can be a giant on the outside but a dwarf on the inside. Yes. You can be nicely dressed on the outside and be a naked person on the inside. Yes. The child grew. Because every child will grow. Two weeks ago, I thought about uh, the formula. It's the formula for finding the area of a circle. A equals what? Pi R squared. And I taught you about variables and constants. Amen. And that as for growing, you will grow. Everybody will grow. I saw one of the girls this, mo- this afternoon. I mean, I did her naming ceremony. Okay. Now she's like this. It's a big girl. The child grew. It's a big girl. Because as for growing, you will grow. Constant. As for becoming tall, you will become tall. Tall. Yeah. As for having a big stomach, you will have a big stomach. But that is the outside. The outer shell has got nice hair like Sister Dre's braids. Isn't it not nice? I mean, beautiful. But the question is, the man, the inner man, does it have such nice braids? And no need question. No. And no. So, Jesus was smart. As he was growing physically, he also ensured that his spirit also grew. So today, I want to start, even though it's for a short time, to talk about the inner man. Because the inner man is the spirit. How does it... So, 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 so our attention 
You see, he waxed strong in the spirit. That is, he was not only macho on the outside, he was also macho on the inside. So today we are going to talk about the diet. The diet of the inner man. Now because you are the way you are because of food. Yes, I mean, look at your age and look at the size of your thighs. One thigh is like a timber. Or doom tree. Your age, teenager, look at one tie. How did they come about? By studying maths. I said, your tie that has become big, is it from studying maths? It's from what? Yes, yes. You've been eating. Yes. Bankers. Yes. Some of you at your age, you have done banking and finance. Banking and finance. Fufu and banku. You've eaten bankwa, you are now a banker. <laughs> You've eaten bankwa, you are now into banking and finance. So, so, you are the way you are because of food you've been eating. There are children who cannot grow physically. Because of a condition we call malnutrition. Mal, that is, the nutrition has gone bad. The food the child must eat went bad. Sometimes the food lacked some proteins, lacked certain vitamins, lacked this, lacked that. So we call it a big word, malnutrition. Yeah, so, you can see a child or a young boy who is 16 years old, but it's like a motia. It's like a dwarf. Not because his parents are short, but couldn't get food. Mm -hmm. So in the same way, your spirit, how many of you want to grow spiritually? You must also be on a certain diet. Certain food. If you don't eat that food, you will not grow. And if you don't grow in the spirit, it will cost you. If you remember last week, at the tail end of the service, I told you how people are paying a high price for not growing their soul, not growing their minds. If you have a classmate who joked with her schooling, with her academic life, you see that in 10 years' time, when you have finished and you are driving your nice car, you've got a good job, the person is a house help. You see a 40-year-old man who still eats food from his mother's kitchen. Yes. There are people in town looking for jobs. They cannot find jobs. When there are others they don't even know which job to choose. Because when you don't develop your mind, you don't go to school, you don't have certificates to prove that you've done B.C., WASI, first degree, master's, you did this course, you, nothing. The only degrees about you is your body temperature, which is hot. 23 degrees Fahrenheit. I said the only degrees about you are body temperature. When you are cold, you got a fever. That's your degree. <laughs> but from this series, in 10 years time, the degrees you will have will not just be your body temperature. But it will be paper degree, quality, proper degree. Some of you are going to do law. Yeah engineering, architecture, yes, masonry. Your amen is low. 
carpentry. Why you're not shouting amen? Medicine. Plumbing. Hmm. Choose the one you want. But the one who is 30 years old looking for a job and doesn't have any qualification cannot even rent a room. So when you don't develop your soul, you pay for it literally on earth. Yeah. You are a pharmacist. You are a rich man. There are some boys who were in school with you in primary school, who didn't take their education seriously. They are paying now. But it's going to even get worse as they grow older. Worse. So here on earth, you pay a price for not developing, not growing in your mind. If you are sitting here, you are in church, you don't take your education seriously, you don't read books, you don't develop your mind, look, you will be, you will suffer but you will see it now because right now, most of you, the food you eat is daddy's mommy's food. Mommy's food. Kitchen food. But you will not be like this forever. Imagine me eating, going to my mother's kitchen to eat. I can't rent a house. Yes. At this age, I can't rent a room. Chamber Hall at Oyarefa is a problem. Imagine how my life will be like. So I, I'm just using this to tell all of you to be serious with your education. Because you will pay if you joke with school. You will pay. You can pray, but you will pay. I said you can pray, you can fast, but you will pay a price. You will, read my lips, you will suffer. So, the same way, if you don't develop your spirit as well, you will suffer. You will suffer. The spirit in a man is what gives the man life. If your spirit is dead, you are dead. Even when you grow up, a lot of the things you will become at work, whether you will be a thief at work, or you will be raping girls in the office, will depend on your spirit. If you are spiritually alive, temptations will not get you to destroy you. That's even the end. I'm not talking about hell fire that is waiting for you. Because you see, that's why I said, what happens to the outer man has no correlation to what happens to the inner man. The rich man, the story of the rich man and Lazarus in Luke 16, the rich man was clothed in purple, eating sumptuously. The body was eating, but apparently the spirit was not eating. The sp- so he, he had big cheeks, pot belly, b- big man, but his spirit was dry. And he paid for it. As soon as he stopped breathing, as soon as he died, demons came for him and they descended straight into hell. And there he began to cry. Cry? Seeing Abraham afar off, seen with his eyes, I thought we buried his eyes at Gethsemane Cemetery, East Legon. He was a rich man. He, rich man I'm, I'm not going to be buried at uh, the apprentice. Osu and Awudu men, this type of. A salmon poem. What are you talking about? Salmon poem. No, they are, they, they are buried in the luxurious cemetery. Get so many. But green grass, where your body, physical body is buried, has no relationship to what, where your inner man will spend eternity. Yes, I'm preaching now. Where they bury your physical body in green grass, nice lawn, big, nice cemetery. Look, there's a cemetery in Accra. If we give you the place, you sleep there. It's, it's, like, a, it's, like, a, it's like a hotel. 
cemetery. It's not like a wood domain that has got wizards and lizards. We smokers. Wizards and lizards. But the rich man cared for his physical body, but did not care for his spiritual body, inner man. But Jesus, his, he was eating rice. His body grew. But he also ensured that his spirit, so he was strong. He was macho in the spirit. So what is the diet? What is the spiritual food we have to eat? Number one, the first spiritual food a believer must eat to, be, to grow in the spirit is to drink milk. Yes. The milk of the word of God. Milk. Breast milk is what a baby needs. Spiritually also, you need milk. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word. That one, this type of milk is not in a milk tin. It's not in a glass. It's not in a bottle. This milk is spiritual milk. The milk of the word of God. So that you may what? Become a dwarf. So that you might what? Become sick. So that you may what? Grow. Remember I'm talking about growing in the spirit. Growing in the spirit. The word of God. The milk of the word of God. The milk of the word of God. That's the first thing you must eat. The milk of the word of God. The spiritual milk of the word of God. The Bible says that that is what guarantees your spiritual growth. The milk of the word of God. The milk. Young girl, young boy, listen carefully. The milk of the word of God. And that milk, there's nothing like force feeding. You know force feeding? The baby who who doesn't want to, the mother will put the whatever in the force you feed you feed. Nah. In the spirit, there's nothing like force feeding. In the spirit, you determine how much milk you eat, how much milk you drink. Nobody will force you. If that's I'm preaching now. You can switch your mind off. You can be here and your mind is in school or mama is in your area thinking of what you are going to eat at home, a, a television program you are watching the evening. You can be here. So that's why I say that you yourself must desire the amount of milk you drink is directly related to what you desire when you wake up in the morning and you don't desire to read your bible no milk for your body baby you desire it that's why many of us don't grow because no, no, there is no pastor there is no man of God who is going to get, put scriptures in a feeding bottle and pump it into your, into your where? Even where? I don't know where. Is it your mouth or your nose or your, or your ears? Where? Or crack your head and pump the milk inside it? Where? The amount of milk in your system depends on your desire. You determine what enters you. As newborn babies, desire. We can even, if we had the ability, we we'll just erase the sincere milk of the word that you may grow by. As newborn babies, desire. That's where desire means like. As newborn babies, like it. As newborn babies, like it. Let me tell you, my dear. You know, as we grow up, there are certain things we just find ourselves liking them. It's like you meet a friend, if you are a girl, you can meet another girl. You just find, oh, there's a flow between Daisy and Ruby. Like you just meet a, 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 a guy. There's a, oh, and there's a flow. You just, you just like the person. Yeah. 
Some of you, I mean, naturally, you eat banku in the morning for breakfast. I mean, I don't know whether it's being genetic. I mean, you, you, don't, you don't force yourself. It's just naturally just... And, and some of you even... The, you can eat banku, one big ball, in one minute, 30 seconds. One minute, not less than two minutes. We call it inhalational therapy. You inhale it. Once you breathe in, the banku is finished. Yes, speed banking. I mean, it's like, you don't sit down and say to yourself that, I like banku. I like banku. I like banku. Or, or, I like, I like Daisy. I like Daisy. No, no. You just met her. You just sat there a few minutes. Oh, we are friends. Oh, let's come to my room. Let's eat. You call her. You text. Let's go, my, let's go to my house. Let's see my mother. And you have nice, two, two nice girls. Two of our friends. Or you meet a guy. A girl can meet a girl. Just, just, just like the guy. A lot of desires are not. I just find yourself liking. Yeah. Just like. Nobody was taught how to like cook on ice. <laughs> With some lemon in it. Hello, Sister Pam. The daddy teach you. Said, Pamela, sit down. This thing, dark thing is cooked, and uh, you must imagine the taste. The taste is like this, and that. Uh, and when it's on ice, and we add some lemon, and you see that it's, like, it's in the glass. The coke is in the glass with ice inside. It uh, says something, something. Pamela, Pamela, imagine, imagine. Is that what your daddy did? No, he just like it. Yeah. You see a girl, a boy who just walks now, he just he sees a girl. When he's about 20 something, he just sees a girl. He says, I like this girl. I just want to be friends with this person. A lot of the things we like, you just saw it. You just saw it, somebody like, somebody's hairstyle. Oh, I think I'll do the same style. Meanwhile, your head is like a chop box. Your head will not look nice with this style. This style is for round faces and round heads. Like yours is like an oblong trapezoidal. Please. The service is ending now. Yeah, we'll continue next week. But all, see, all I'm saying is that when we say desire or like, a lot of the things we like. You see, desire, it comes naturally. Oh, I desire to watch a movie. I like to sleep. Yeah. But when it comes to the word of God, spiritual things, if you are waiting for it to like you or you will like it, no. You must determine and be deliberate in your desire. That one is an engine you must start Nobody will take your hand and put your hand on a Bible and squeeze the Bible and take it and put it in front of you. No. No. You desire, the, the, the desire for the Word of God is not like a desire for Banku. You must generate an interest. An interest. Listen, I'm telling you. It will not, if you, if, if you are here and you don't have your quiet time, you don't read your Bible, let me tell you, you did not read your Bible. Nobody is born with a natural desire to read the Bible. Because you were born in sin. You were born in sin. So you are born with a natural desire to watch pornography. Not to read Bible. You were born in sin. So you, 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 you will naturally lie. Yes. Next week, uh, I'm going to talk about another desire. If I start it right now, there will be a, a, a difficulty. But today, I'm talking about Design what? Design what? The word. The milk of the word. The milk. Next week I'm going to talk about another thing you must desire. And I'm saying that, that when you say desire the sincere milk, it's not like how a boy desires to see Michaelisian. Hey. 
there are a lot of desires in us. Because we were born in sin, they are natural. You will naturally lie. Naturally, you like stealing. Naturally, you like go- gossiping. Natural. Yeah. Naturally. 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 It's in the blood. You were born to like evil. Because you were created and made in sin. When it comes to spiritual things, they are not automatic. It is sin that is automatic. If you leave yourself, your default setting is wickedness and immorality and fooling, fornication, evil, self-destruction. That is natural. If you leave a man and a woman naturally in a room, they will fornicate. Naturally. One day you become a shepherd, you go and visit your member. And when you are going to visit a girl, you are a shepherd, a boy shepherd. You must go with someone. If you go alone, if you go alone, you won't come back alone. I said, if you go alone, you won't come back alone. You will come back with a child. You bet. Please, do you understand what I'm talking about? Or, or you're, not, you're not interested in growing up in the spirit? Do you want to grow up in the spirit? Or you just want to go to school and grow up in your soul? So your mind is developed 8 A's, 7 A's, 6 ones, 9 ones. Your body is nicely grown. You are tall. Your thighs are big. Everything is nice. Is that what you, and your spirit is a motia spirit. Do you want to develop your spirit? I can't, I said, do you want your spirit to grow? Then listen to me carefully. The word of God. Let me give me the Bible. This Bible. You will not like this the way you like yam and oko soup. You will not like this Bible the way you will naturally like racing cars. I'm preaching. This type of desire, you must, we call it DIY. Do it yourself. Generate the desire yourself. Nobody can do it for you. If you leave yourself, you will be out of the word of God. And your growth depends on the milk of the word. The milk of the word. Bible, quiet time. Every morning, read your Bible. Pray every day. Read your Bible every day. You see, maybe if, if I were writing the Bible, I would not have used the word desire. I would have used the word decide. Decide to drink the sincere milk of the word that you may grow. Do you get me? Yeah. Some of you think the desire, it, it will come, you'll be there, no. I like that. I feel for the word. Hey, where's my iPad? Wow, give me New Living Trans. I feel like, I feel amplified. Wow, wow, King James. Who, I, someone should give me this. I feel, I feel like this. Hey, you feel like Banku. You feel like rice and stew. But Dex, you must decide, deliberately decide to read your Bible. And even as you are reading it, you feel like stopping. Oh, what's this? Let me just, today's the word. Jesus, please sleep. Yeah. Sleeping tablet. Look at me. Yeah. And your spirit, eh, you will grow up to respect your spirit. You see, I, I'll tell you to go to school, study, pass first class, pass exams, do everything. But there is a place in life you don't get there with passing of exams. In fact, if you will allow me, I will say it is almost spiritual. Who likes you? Like in the military, up to a level, you write exams. Colonel, you write exams, you pass. 
go up. Lance Corporal to Corporal to this, the Staff Sergeant, this is Colonel. From Colonel upwards, somebody must like you and say that I'm recommending you to go up. There's no exam in the world. You are right to be a brigadier. Somebody must. If nobody likes you, you'll be there. It's not like, oh, you've been there for eight years, so it's not time to move on. No, 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 no. no. You retire with a kennel. So even on earth, there's a place exams won't take you. But the Spirit of God will take you there. When there's favor on your face, favor on your head, the oil on your head, the Spirit of God will take you. So when you are wise, like Jesus, as your body is growing, you are also growing the spirit because you will get to a place, your body will not take you there, but your spirit will take you there. Most of you girls, even though you are young, I'm telling you, you, you remember me. You will see that when you grow 25, 26, 27, when you stand in front of the mirror, you will see that you are a pretty girl. You, Nankasa, you will know that you are a nice girl. Anything that makes a woman, you have some. But no boy is proposing to you. They, they, they just smile at you. They just pass you by. Oh, but won't he propose? He won't propose. You see, you see a brother with P.O.P. on his mouth. Why? 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 Because, because it's not everywhere the shape of your body can take you. It's a spiritual. Life is spiritual. So, go to school. Do bodybuilding. But remember that the spirit solves problems that your soul cannot solve. That your body cannot solve. And one of the ways to grow your spirit is that you yourself must like it. Like when I was in school. There's nobody who likes exams. Exams. No. Who, who here likes exams? You like exams. Next week, I'm going to talk about another desire. We are doing dietary. This is, this is dietetics. Spiritual dietetics. Spiritual what? Dietetics. Nutrition. Spiritual nutrition. And God will bless you. Stand to your feet and let's go. Close your eyes. And lift your hands and pray that the Lord will help you to desire. To desire the word of God. You would love to read your Bible. You would love to soak the word of God. You would love to soak in the makane, mala, the word. You love the word. Lift your hands and pray the Lord. Put that love in me and help me to desire. To desire. Give us a love for your word. Yes, to desire. May we desire your word. To desire. In different forms of God. At different times of the day. The milk, the milk of the way to grow, to grow, to grow. Everyone lift your hands and pray. We believe you've been blessed by the sermon. For inquiries, please call plus two three three two six seven six seven six zero five five plus two three three two six seven six seven six zero five five or send an email to info at God's dot com. Info at God's dot com.